Dr. Teresa and Dr. Malaya will tell you where we were referring this patient to other hospitals under MediClaim and this is known as a therapeutic plasma exchange therapy. Now what is this therapeutic plasma exchange therapy? Now here this is something to purify your blood. I would say in the layman's language there is something called as dialysis. In dialysis what we remove are the toxins which are to be excreted by kidney. But in this particular treatment of therapeutic plasma exchange we remove the toxins which are responsible for certain serious syndromes called as autoimmune syndromes or autoimmune diseases and recently we had one patient with myasthenia gravis myasthenia gravis is one of the most uh, you know dreadful condition in neurology and i would expect dr teresa to speak on this this patient was almost going down because of his autoimmune antibodies which were causing paralysis of his muscles his respiration was going down so what we did we took an emergency permission from the fda and from there we got a license we got a special kit then both dr teresa and dr malaya they worked together and they did what is known as therapeutic plasma exchange in this patient they removed these toxic antibodies which were causing the paralysis of this muscle and as of today patient is doing very well he might require one more transfusion so we will do it now this kind of therapeutic plasma exchange is the need of the hour in many patients who get the viral Guillain-Barre syndrome viral conditions and also in certain transplants also now this uh, this methodology helps so this is like one of the the best step that we have taken for the people of goa now the conditions which require the uh, therapeutic plasma exchange i would request dr teresa to speak on that but before that i would just like to thank those people who were involved in this whole program one is dr vg sumani drug controller general of india new delhi who gave us uh, lightning permission and mrs dr uh, mrs jyoti sardesai director fda goa then we have dr geeta kakodkar project director gsex then uh, uh, myself dr teresa ferreira head of neurology department dr shirley n disoza head of anesthesiology department dr merlin agustin she is assistant lecturer in charge of afrs's lab and mr harshad adsule he is the technician for afrs's machine now these afrs's machines we had brought under uh, when there was a mission plasma during our covid time now the same machines can be used for therapeutic plasma exchange so one machine costing about 40 lakhs we had bought and they are now put in use for the betterment of these patients not last but not the least the captain of the whole program was dr malaya who is the head of blood bank and also the associate professor of pathology so i would now request uh, dr teresa to speak on what are the advantages of this new therapy that goa medical college is to give as to give to this patient and how it is going to help them not to travel outside the state about 15, <coughs> 15 patients in the in the icu and uh, total admissions in super specialty is i think 67 and this side we have uh, 34 in medical college and there is a slow decline now uh, what is our observation is most of those who are having serious illness are unvaccinated non-vaccinated patients now if you see out of 15 in icu only three are vaccinated the other others who are non-vaccinated are severe covid and these three who are vaccinated are actually not having severe covid but they are having other comorbidities that's why they are in icu like they have a crf that is chronic renal failure and all so what is the trend that we have seen is people with very very serious comorbidities with both doses of the vaccine sometimes 
they succumb basically because of their primary disease and we call it as an incident but majority whom we have seen this time the elderly and age being one of the worst comorbidity like somebody is above 70 is a comorbid no because of his age and non vaccinated they are having this fatal in fatal uh, outcome of uh, covid the booster dose the comorbidity booster dose as per the what we have received uh, stats from uh, uh, dhs that it is having a good response the exact percentage i think we will have to ask uh, rajender burkar who is an old office because it keeps changing every day but gmc has already got now mch in kade thoracic which is the new mch two seats then we got mch in urology this is again new seats then we got dm in nephrology uh, we have dm in cardiology two two seats each then we have mch in plastic surgery and one dm in uh, cardiothoracic uh, cardiac anesthesia so this is one big achievement for gmc because gmc never had dm courses earlier and mch courses in this uh, uh, super speciality so now once we start our super speciality hospital from march we are going to start these uh, super speciality courses in goa medical college a real great boon for local students and really a great achievement of government of goa so you know we would like to thank our honorable chief minister honorable health minister and our secretary health who helped us to have those inspections we did these inspections continuously for 10 days and we finally got approval from national medical commission before we had no seat in super speciality except neurosurgery neurosurgery two seats were there but now there are 10 seats that we got in super speciality so this is really a achievement for gmc mcm cardiology three seats mch cardiothoracic two seats m dm cardiology two seats dm nephrology two seats mch urology two seats dm cardiac anesthesia one seat and mch plastic surgery one seat so total 10 big from march we start this march we are starting the courses so far we in this department there was no teaching so they were just service departments so we have to get new professors professors we got some we are recruiting also more and uh, teaching program has been we have already submitted our teaching program to goa university so for goa university also these are new courses which really high high end course there is nothing higher than this in medicine like dm mch is the end point in uh, in your uh, educational achievements so how how fast it will be in march you said you will start it for the March will see. March we will get students, no? Professors. Professors are there. Like in cardiology, there is a professor. In uh, cardiothoracic also there is a professor. Now we need more staff. Suppose we want to uh, shift to super speciality, we create more units. We will be doing that after the code is lifted, because all that is in channelized manner. We have sent the names to GPC. after code of conduct is lifted all interviews will happen but course will start course now won't stop because we already got a permission now after 3 years this course will be rechecked by an mc so that time we should have everything we do have everything but only thing is that you know as we keep on admitting these students we will know what more we want this code of conduct is and for the gmc also code of conduct actually for health reasons it should be relaxed we have also written to relax but we are not received any reply but it applies to gmc there are a lot of diseases uh, which are caused in our body as a, as a result of auto antibodies the antibodies which the body produces against itself and these auto antibodies can affect various parts of the body 
uh, like the brain, the nerves and the blood cells, hematological conditions and they can also be formed because of uh, during uh, certain conditions like transplants, post transplant, these autoantibodies can appear in the blood and they can cause a lot of damage. Uh, so plasma exchange is one such therapy wherein these antibodies are cleaned via a filter and the blood is passed through the filter and it is cleaned and uh, then uh, we can lower the levels of these antibodies so that these patients can recover. Uh, it is very important from the neurological aspect there are a few diseases where this treatment uh, is the treatment of choice like in myasthenia gravis and especially there is a condition called as crisis in myasthenia where the patient is extremely weak and has to be on the ventilator because he cannot breathe out of neuromuscular weakness and in this this is one indication where plasma therapeutic plasma exchange is the indication of choice and also there are various other diseases like Guillain-Barre syndrome and catastrophic antiphospholipid antibody syndromes and uh, certain post transplant states hemolytic uremic syndrome uh, good pasture syndrome and like this in each uh, speciality there are a few indications wherein this treatment is the treatment of choice. Uh, so far we were sending our patients to nearby centers which were out of the state to avail this treatment because they could not benefit from any other treatment uh, available to us. But now with the start of this tra treatment in our uh, institute I think it will help our, uh, all the citizens of Goa to give us, uh, it help us to give them better care and they will have to, uh, they will be able to receive this care in their own state. So in this procedure we make use of a machine called apheresis machine. So in the procedure the blood of the patient goes to the machine where it selectively separates the plasma containing the antibodies and the red cells along with albumin suspended in saline is returned back to the patient. So selectively only the plasma containing antibodies which is causing the disease is removed. Now this type of cycle is repeated over a period of 3 hours, 2 to 3 hours and it is repeated on 5 to 6 occasions. Now as far as the cost per procedure is concerned, it comes to around 50,000 for one, one procedure and one patient requires minimum 5 to 6 procedures so the total cost becomes 2,50,000 to 3 lakhs. Up till this time this facility was not available in Goa so patient used to be referred either to Bombay or nearest center was in Belgaum. But with the starting of therapeutic plasma exchange in Goa this modality of treatment will now be available for various disease states which can occur in different modalities. For example, it can occur in case of neurology such as acute Guillain-Barre syndrome, myasthenia gravis. In hematology, it can be used for thrombotic, thrombocytopenic purpura, hyperviscosity syndromes. Renal conditions, it can be used for good pasture syndrome. Then it can be used in certain hematological conditions such as myeloma, life-threatening cold agglutinin disease. In case of immunological conditions such as SLE. So, in all these modalities, previously patients had to go outside Goa. Now, with availability of this facility, patient need not travel outside Goa, it will be available in GMC.